Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about very important concept which was added in JDK 1.8 that is functional programming concept. So, what is functional programming? Simply we can say forwarding the entire function argument to or parameter to a method is called functional programming. So, basically this functional programming we can able to develop through mainly two concepts one is by using lambdas and the one is method references. So, whenever we talks about a functional programming first we need to talks about what is the basic elements of the functional programming. See here functional programming entirely depend upon the concept like uh, anonymous functions nothing but mainly functional programming we can able to develop with the support of lambdas. So, here working with the functional programming is nothing but working with what anonymous function observe here the mainly we have three programming elements under the functional programming concept one is class objects mainly in the functional programming functions as first class objects. So, what is the meaning here whenever we hear the terminology like function most of the people feels like it is a member of the class, but here function is nothing but one object function is nothing but what here one object first it is whenever I started this uh, video session I told you functional programming means passing entire function as a method argument passing how can we pass entire function here entire function means nothing but object function here behave like a object but we we cannot recognize what is the object type and everything here. Here we cannot recognize the function name and everything. The reason is we are developing on top of what here anonymous. So, you may be by listening this theoretical you may be not getting full pledged information. Let me go with a, a small programming concept mainly this video intention is what are the basic elements in functional programming. In functional programming every function will behave like a one object let me show you that let me show you that there is one functional interface that interface name is square that interface name is square and it is having it is having one method public abstract int area int x int area int x. Now, I want to provide implementation for this I want to provide implementation for this, but not, but not by writing a separate class, but not by writing what anonymous I want to write a function I want to write function means do not be considered as a Java method it is one object in the background observe how I am going to write this is square s equal to I am providing the implementation for square interface. So, whenever we providing the implementation of square interface providing means providing the logic for method which is available in the square like area. Now, I am not see I am not giving the name like uh, area directly I am writing what uh, open and closed parentheses and what is the variable I am taking one variable like value. Now, this is what your lambda expression. Now, what I am going to give is yes, see I am going to return return value into value value into value. Now, observe here this entire part is behave like a one object that is why 
that's why we are referring with what referenced variable if it is not a object we are not using the reference variable we are using the reference variable is nothing but internally that is holding what your object sir how can we believe very simple let me write like a s dot hash code s dot hash code s dot hash code now print what we are getting we are getting one hash code here and really is that in that memory only we have a method what is that method area most of the people seeing this syntax as a functional just anonymous expression basically this expression contains what memory that memory we are passing to other argument other method parameter that is what exactly functional programming okay now let me call one method like a system dot out dot print and s dot area 10 then area is what here 100 so this 10 will place into value and this expression will asking to the jvm go for what your body of that expression and returns what your value into value like 10 into 10 100 100 will replace here now what is the intention of functional programming observe here wide wide static wide and there is a method like m1 which contains the parameter like yes which contain the parameter like what square s yes. now what i am passing here for example square obj square obj if i am writing like m1 of s m1 of s means what s contains this function contains so enter this function and place into where here obj contains what here obj now if you are not believes obj dot hash code now please concentrate now both the memories are same or different same whatever the memory given by this expression that will be stored in the yes that yes i am passed into obj so obj also holding what here same thing now what i am doing if i am calling like obj dot obj dot area of 25 obj dot area of 25 means that 25 we are passing to this value 25 5 25 nothing but simply it will give us what here 625 let me print that value here obj dot area of 25 now we are getting output like what here 625 so what is functional means we are passing we are passing entire lambda or entire anonymous function as an argument to as a parameter to method m1 so instead of what i'm writing simply i'm writing here entire expression no problem at all ended with what here semicolon ended with what here semicolon here now let me show you this not only we are passing what reference variable yes we can pass what here entire yes observe so let me yeah good two times i'm calling first time 625 and six, second time 625 first we are passing reference and now we are passing what here reference means internally it is having what function basically this functional programming not invention by what here java not introducing by what here java already some other programming languages uses this functional programming lambdas by seeing those func by seeing those languages only java introducing these concepts in version of java 1.8 really java will support 100 percent is functional programming or not how can we know that how can we know that that we will see in the next video especially in this video my main intention is only one thing i told you what is that the what is the main functional programming element what is that class object i told you in the next example i'm going to discuss what is pure function really java supports the few functions or not i hope you understand this example for more videos please subscribe to channel thank you